In our oceans today, there are about 12,000 marine protected areas. Um, and these are biodiversity hotspots. These are breeding spots for fish. These are very important places to protect. The reality is that the current amount of ocean that is actually protected is not even half percent. Simply because building ships and training people is so expensive that it's just not, it's just not viable. So when I won the prize, we actually started a new initiative called the Sea Ranger Service. Um, and we do two things. One is we started thinking about could we in a way utilize and build special sailing ships to actually bring you know, rangers out to these areas. Because when you use sailing ships, of course, there's no fuel costs, so the costs are low and it's very clean, clean to operate. I found out that if you look globally, almost every country that borders the sea, the highest rates of youth unemployment are in the port cities. So I thought, what if we use veterans from the Navy and we train unemployed young people um, you know, as sea rangers? Within two months, we had 600 applicants um, and many young people who are just looking to you know, add purpose to their life and do something good for the world. So we ran a first boot camp and in five weeks, the youth, they got a lot of, well, a lot of former Marines also involved in the training, so there's a lot of discipline and structure. Um, and they learned to go sailing and diving and get all these maritime qualifications. Um, so to my sort of amazement, after one year of doing a lot of enthusiastic talking with the government officials, four ministers in the Netherlands, that yes, we're gonna back this program. So the prize suddenly made it possible to start all this work and to get, and to get this happening, but it didn't quite stop there. And even within you know, a year and a half after starting having this Dutch agreement, was I on a, a far bigger stage with about a thousand delegates from countries around the world. So when I got off the stage there, there were about 10 delegates from different countries, from Indonesia, Norway, UK, who said, we need to talk. And in fact, we want you to start the program in our country. So even the United Nations have now said they want to partner with us. So we've, we're now in the process of becoming an official affiliate of the United Nations. Um, and it's just, it literally all started here on this stage. Thank you.